That is a beautiful looking championship that somebody completely disrespected the order of Chainmail. We hear a possible new champ on the right, Rave the War Beast, going against the absolute G, Chainmail. Not doing a good job right now. He's doing everything but defending it. He says everybody loves him, but the crowd doesn't react that way. Do you love him, Rod? Well, I don't know him like that. I do. I want to do this. I want to do it. Chainman wants to go with a test of strength against the War Beast? War Beast? This is not. I guess you got to do it to him, man. Kids, if you want the definition of a bad idea, please look at Chainmail. Oh, but Chainmail. Look, I will say, don't underestimate Chainmail. You know, and despite of how I feel about him, one of the smartest people I have seen in the ring. So he is smart. He's intelligent. There's a reason he has that belt. There's a reason he has the belt in the first place. Yes, yeah, yeah. He's intelligent enough to make the rules. Uh, I don't think we're smart. This is one on one with Ray, but hey, Ray, if he wants to do this, this is what happens. He has to learn, man. If, you know who I know wants to do this? Ray. Ray wants this power game. He wants. To have this match in his control. That is what he excels at. Literally having his opponent in his grasp. But Chainmail looking to break it. Literally. Oh, but Rave countering it with his own. Chainmail with some agility. Oh! Beautiful arm drag from the absolute G. And I don't even. I, you know, the war beast wasn't phased by that. He's back on his feet already. I see, he wasn't phased, but I can tell he's a, he's a little bit angry. And I, I think it's the fact, if it was anybody else, I understand. But Chainmail giving him a run with contract. Chain Arana's a drop kick. Rave needs to stop this. Springboard. Cross body. Will it be over that fast? No. No, he kicks out. I don't think, I don't think Rave realized that Chainmail might have a little bit more to take. I said, if, if I was Rave, I'd be, I'd be upset. 
This guy is beating me right now? Hey, listen, he's a BWA Motion versus Champion, so I guess it makes sense, right? Well, I, I agree with the fans. I am down for a new one. And Ray getting his face smushed in that top turnbuckle. All right, J-Mail. Bringing him over to the other one. Now, taking the offense right to Ray. Went from midsection to back. Rave dropped to a knee. Rave has got to dig deep and beat Chainmail. Please. If you're watching this at home, I'm sure you see the look on Rave's face. He is not happy. Come on! And I think Chainmail's about to find out how unhappy Rave is. Kicks him in the gut, Irish whip. Massive body splash. I don't know if, if Chainmail is ready to the wall. Oh, gets thrown off the bulldog. So I don't mean to interrupt you, but I'm hoping this is the turning that we see here. Oh. Nice roundhouse to the spinal cord. It's the ropes. Oh. Massive European uppercut. Goes for the cover. Kicks out at two. The thing about Rave, Rave is like a stick of TNT. You know, might not be a big stick, but it's a lot of power. You know. I mean, hey, we're seeing it right there. Precision, powerful elbows to the top of the dome. They can even, they can even pierce the metal of the chainmail. And now chainmail again to his feet. So strikes the midsection of a rave. Knee lift into Explorer Suplex. Oh, the war beast feels it. Kicks out at two. If he knows what's good for him, I don't think he's going to kick out again because he's only pissing off. I said, if I was Rave, keep it up. Keep up the power. Keep up holding on to your opponent. Even working submission like that, keep it up. Keep Chainmail grounded. Chainmail may not look like it, but Chainmail unleashes some explosive high-flying maneuver. Keep him grounded, and you will have this in your hands. Right. i tell you what. Seeing Chainmail do some things that he do is pretty astonishing. So, Rave is definitely going to have to listen to your advice. Hoping he is you over here. But you see, Chainmail's already fighting back, so. And another exploding suplex! Man, oh, man. Listen, taking something to those from Rave can't be. Chainmail, I think, doing the smartest thing he's done this match and taking a break and ran away. But Rave. Taking it to him, strike after strike. What's Rave thinking here? Snake eyes onto the apron. Nose, or I think like forehead first onto the apron. And I think this is where the chain mail kind of like gets counterintuitive because it's metal, metal to the dome. Oh, sends Raven to the post. What's chain mail thinking here? Oh. oh, nice tornado DDT from the apron. And I think even Chainmail surprised by his own offense. Oh, that was concrete. Oh, get up. Let me ask you, sir, do you love Chainmail? I do not. No. Okay, so that's one goal. Ross said he doesn't love him. A lot of people don't love him. As he goes to the pin, kicks out at two. What's to be fair, I said. I don't know him enough to love him yet, so, you know. But from what you've seen here today, do you? Not to be unsaid right now, not to be unsaid. Now kick to the gut. I think we got a little bit of the rib right there. Trying to go back to it again. Ray barely blocking it. Sadly, that's the one thing that sucks about blocking. You get damage to the arms in spite of protecting the other body weak. You take a hit, you're still gonna take a hit somewhere. Speaking of Speaking of taking a hit, back drop suplex. In spite of the third suplex, that was only a two count. That was the count of ghosts. Big corner clothesline. Wave. Trying to get another one. Oh, what a set on. Put cheeks to chest, just sat on it. 
I haven't seen action like this since. Odo back. Oh! Another backdrop suplex. Oh, Rave. Look at the ending here. Chainmail, belt in hand. Chainmail go to the top. Chaino splash. And you're a winner. from JDR.